Hello and welcome to a new video in this series where I want to make a controller for my thing here. I want to control it. Well, and I am thinking of something like that, that uh, we have somewhere inside our Arduino yeah, that we ha have somewhere a controller. All right? So I want to have here a controller. And I want and I, I do not want to have only one controller. I do want to have two different controller and also manual mode. So I want to have it a switching controller. Okay. I want to have a PID controller. And here we have manual set point. So here, here the outputs, I want to switch them. Eh? I want to select if I'm using manual or if I'm using a switching controller or if I'm using PID controller. I want to select those things. Yeah? And this is then, here we have the PLT element. Yeah? This is the correcting element, the adjustment element. Yeah? This is my PLT element, my heating element, or cooling element, yeah. Which is heating and cooling. And here we have somewhere a measurement. Temperature measurement. Yeah. This we are reading in, and I want to compare this yeah, with a desired value, yeah, a set point. Okay. So here's somewhere a set point. And I'm comparing this, so it means I have here subtraction, uh, minus. Uh, I will use the difference. And the difference is then fed into the switching controller or the PID controller. Uh, and that's it. And due to the process, this PLT element has influence on the temperature. So this is my control circle. Yeah? So here, here actually I have something which is called correcting variable. And I want this correcting variable to come either from manual, so just adjust the correcting variable yeah, by hand, set it to 10% heating or whatever, yeah, from switching controller or from PAT controller. Yeah. Here we have the temperature measurement, yeah. so this is the, the process. Temperature. Yeah. Here we have the set point. And here we have the controller difference here. Controller difference. And the PID controller, the switching controller, is reacting on the controller difference. There are videos about this, you can watch it. Just that we know what I want here. Okay? So I want to have a manual mode, I want to have a switching controller, I want to have a PLT controller, I want this to have selectable. Switching controller is, is just switching from 
do nothing, yeah? cool or heat, so plus, plus minus 100% or 0%, yeah? and PAT controller shall be bit, something between minus 100% and plus 100%, minus 100% means 100% cooling, plus 100% means 100% heating yeah? for the PLT element. Yeah, this is how I want to have this. So on my main page, I want to display the process temperature. Okay, I want to see the process temperature. I want to see the correcting variable, and I want to see the set point. Uh, these three things I want to see on my main page. Uh, I want to display in which mode I am. Uh, and here I want to have a fourth option that we set it to zero. Off simply. Yeah? No heating, no cooling, just off. Okay. I, so I want to display if it's on or off. Yeah? So actually this is maybe here later. I will make it like this yeah? so that we have here on or off, that we can switch on or off all different control modes yeah? and well, that we are manual, switching control or PAT control. This is the goal. Yeah? I want to have this, I want to have this split if it's on or off Make it like that. with the LED. Yeah? I want to have this also displayed with LED so that I can select. Yeah? These th things I want to have on my main page of my LCD display. Okay? So I will start to implement these LEDs and the PLT element. There are two outputs. Yeah? There need two outputs. Uh, one for heating, one for cooling. Yeah? And I also want to add an LED to this output so that I can see, okay, the red LED is for heating and the blue LED is for cooling and the red LED is lit a little bit or lit a lot yeah, so that I can see visually, yeah, that I can visually see if this is heating or cooling. Right. So let's update our our hardware here. Huh? Let's update our hardware. This is this is the code. Okay, so let's start by adding the LEDs. Huh? So I want to have a blue LED for cooling. Alright, I want to have a red LED for heating. Of course, we need here resistors. Uh, series resistors that we don't burn the LED. Another one. Okay, for heating I am going to use pin number 5. For cooling I am going to use pin number 6 on the, on the, on the nano. Uh, because those are PWM capable and I can control this. I can control this. Okay, so then I have the two LEDs for heating and cooling. Good. Then I want to have this LED for, you know, it's turned on or turned off. Yeah? I'll make this yellow. And then I want to have these LEDs for manual control, switching control, and PID control. So these are the, those things. And I am also adding here now series resistors. And here I am, for me it's okay yeah, to use the outputs of my only digital output, so I'm going to use the, the spare outputs which are still not used of my shift register, of my shift thing. So here this on and off, on and off, I will use here 
output number 7. Then here manual mode I will use this one and so on. Then this shift register is completely used. But okay. Good. So that's the hardware setup. That's the hardware setup. Let's see if I plug it in, if it is still working or not. Oh, there was already some light. Main page. Can I change to the temperature sensors? Aha, uh -huh, 85. So we, st we have here some. Uh -huh, yeah. It's always. Uh, That's the stuff with this breadboard. The stuff with the breadboard is not working proper because, you know, it's a cheekly contact. Probably, yeah, boy. Ah, yeah, boy. Oh, that's okay. 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 So, all temperature sensors are available. Oh. And now we're taking care about this main page. Oh, it's still written there. Process. Of course, yeah? we need to think about what to print on the main page. And we thought about this. Uh, and I will add those measurements now in the program. Okay, so let's switch to the computer. Okay, so I am going to add now the values I want to add. Yeah? So I will calculate an integer. Yeah? All my prepared uh, libraries and so on, they are working in integer. The last two digits are always behind the comma. So if I want to display one, the integer value would be 100. If I want to display 1.1, 1 .1, the integer number would be 110. All right. So I make a fixed comma point at the second digit. And I will now add here a long variable. I will call this uh, uh, correcting value. In the beginning it will be zero. Okay, no heating, no cooling. I want to have this between minus 100, so it's actually minus 10,000, and plus 100, which would be 10,000 percent, yeah? so that we have it in percent, correcting variable, correcting value. Yeah? Then we have, of course, the process temperature. I have it already. Oh, I'll simply put this up here. This is maybe, maybe nicer that we have all those things together. And then we, I will add the long temperature set point, uh, which is also zero. Those things I'm going to add to my main page. All right. This I want to have at my main page. Uh, so at output main, I will, this I can forget actually. Uh, I will say lcd dot set cursor 0 .1, uh, and I will print lcd dot print actual temperature and I will output the I will have written this last time this output value I will output the value output value I don't have to do this. This must be updated once in a while or very often. I will do this in the main loop. Yeah? Uh, I will write then in the second row, I will, I will write uh, temperature set point. And in the third row, I will write correcting variable.
correcting value. Let's simply write correcting. Okay, this is in the third row. And to update this every once in a while, I will also delete how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I will simply delete all the others by printing blanks. Yeah. Print those blanks and that's it. Yeah. And here in main, in the loop, uh, I already switched menu position, read temps. Yeah, why not? Uh, I will have something case uh, menu main. Uh, I will update this output value and 12 first line it's the process temperature in the second line here I need to break in the second line it is it is the temp set point and in the third line Actually, I could have copied it. Three. It's the correcting, correcting value. Now, at least I updated. I should print this, and everything should be zero now. Upload this to my controller. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Zero, zero, correcting, zero. This is nice. All right. All right. Now I want to, now I want to somehow, ooh, the status. I will add the status. I will add the output pins. Yeah. Why not? Uh, define. This is what I just wrote. Yeah. This is what I just wrote. Yeah. Heat pin, cool pin. Uh, I added simply those, those in and outputs, the shifter pins I've added here those we are not using, and here this is at the status pins. Okay, and I will also also make a byte called status, huh? and this this status byte I will set to Start, status on is zero, status PRT switch, a manual mode, and then one, two, three, four. Uh, this is what I want to have. This is a good binary binary. So this tells I'm in manual mode now. Alright. Alright. Uh, I will now make a function with which is called output status okay and i will simply use the status bits yeah, to output values here yeah. so i will say if Bit read 
from status which bit are status on no I will simply make it like this shifter I cannot do it I need to do it like that then shifter dot set bit exactly the status on else shifter clear bit status on That's good. Then I will not do this, I will also do it with manual. And of course I'm going to do it with switch and BAD as well. So then with this one, this is turning off and on my LEDs. Great, and then in, in setup, I'm calling to call this also. Yeah, I will call them here. Output status. Transfer out, I don't have to care about this. This is called anyway. Good. Yeah. Good. Let's upload this, see if at least... Uh, is it already uploaded? Yes. Looking good. Yeah, looking good. Here we have... Here we have... The correct status. This is good. All right. Uh, there's one thing I want to do. I want to add this switch here, turn it off and on. All right, this is what I'm going to do now, still. Yeah, and next time I want to make here this to, to select between the things. Okay, so. I want to use the button B for turning off and on. In A we are selecting the pages and in B we are I want to turn it off and on the output. Alright? Turn the output off and on. So here, get key. Yeah? If I am in main menu menu and I have a case yeah? KB. Yeah. Then I will invert, yeah. invert bit, bit invert it's called I think, no, bit toggle, here it is, bit toggle, that's the correct function, so it toggles a bit, which bit I want to toggle, I want to call this status on, toggle the status on, and I, in status, yeah, that's it, in the status I want to toggle the status, yeah? and I will output status. I think that's it. Now I should be able to turn it off and on. Oh, this is nice. If you if you have prepared this, if you have prepared this pretty well, huh, then you should be able to turn this. It always takes long. Uh, this downloading. Okay, here we are. B. <laughs>
Good, I can turn it off and on. But I also want to make the output. I also want to make the output. Yeah, no, why not? Yeah, why not? <sighs> Let's make the output. Uh, so here, this is a task for here. I would say if uh, bit read status status on. We will else Ooh. we have to define of course the pin mode pin mode for heat pin is output and pin mode for cool pin is also output. If the status in, is not on, I will make analog write yeah, heat pin zero and cool pin also zero. And here we'll do if Correcting, correcting variable, smaller than zero, yeah. I will make it like this, I will call it, a, they will call a Let's simply write it. Analog. Right. If it's, I will need to cool, cool pin. Uh, else, I need to to write something to the heat pin. And one hundred thousand uh, shall be. So I will need the correcting value. Correcting value. Uh, Multiplied by 255 and divided by 100%. Good. Huh? And here are two practically the same. However, I will multiply this with minus 200 because it's negative. Good. And now let's just set this correcting variable to, I don't know, 5%. Upload. Then we should see, now it's plus 5%. Then we should see the, if I turn on the output, then we should see the red LED turning on because we are at plus 5%. Here the correcting variable is 5%. It's correctly written and now B. Ah! It is over. Okay, so we can turn off and out the output, off and on and off the output. Uh, let's see if I change this here to minus 5. Let's again upload this. Then we should see the blue LED come on and off yeah, with this 5. Because now I'm minus 5% means cooling. Let's see if this is corrected this split then here. Minus 5, all right. Turn on. Oh, it's the blue LED. <laughs> Good. Uh, next time we're going to change the modes. Uh, next time we I want to change the modes and then we will see what's happening.
yeah, that we also can change the mode with our, our keypad here. I think for now it's enough. We have added those LEDs. We have added now the correcting value and we've added main page output. And we can even uh, already put something if we would have connected to the, to the Peltier element and heat or cool it. Oh, that's good. Huh? Let's call it a day. See you next time. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.